Right. Ready? <laughs> what are we doing? Are we recording? Oh yeah, we're recording. Oh. Uh, hey guys. Welcome what's up? back to our channel. <laughs> it's your boy Hungar and I'm chilling here with my lovely wife Stephanie. And together we, we are, are the Glovers and this is the Glovers Uncut. Pam 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 pam. Yay! So you clicked on the on this video because of the title, and uh, what's happening today, baby? Well, today I am going to be showing you guys exactly why somebody. <laughs> guys, have you seen Hungani's gains these days? Show them, show them both both sides. Mm. Yeah. Oh no, I need to take my shirt off for oh, that for one. That one yeah. That's sure, that, yeah. That one. Anyway, <laughs> so, so I've, you know, been doing my wifely duties with diligence mm. and I've been meal prepping for Mr. Ngrovo. I've been meal prepping for mm. Rolani. So, you know, um, I'm going to show you guys today what I sometimes meal prep for him, uh, lunch for the next few days. And he is going to be helping me for the first time. Yeah, for the first time, because we're in a new kitchen. And uh, we partnered with Galencia Properties, so we are in Villa Le Seul in Midrand in one of their units and uh, no one's ever done anything in this kitchen, in this house, in this... So we're the first and if you end up, you know, living here, just know that the Glovers Uncut was here and mm -hmm. we laid our stamp. All right, let's go. Let's, let's get go. started. After you. Okay. Thanks. Hi Ma, you're on the Glovus Uncut. Huh? Hi, busy with the Glovus Uncut. How yeah, are you? Yeah, we're busy shooting, so now you're on speaker, now you're going to be in the video. Oh, really? Alright guys, so Steph is getting the kitchen ready and we're literally about to start. Don't forget to like, comment down below and subscribe. Let's get it. Babe, the chicken is waiting to be chopped. The chicken's waiting to be chopped. By who? By me? Yes, by you. You said you're helping, no? Yo, what you want? So, it's tender. Oh, we're making rice. We're making broccoli. Did you see that? What happened? Ne? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. So, love, tell us a little bit about this weight gain. Some of us are trying to lose weight. Other, you see, in our household, we have opposite. What's it called? Goals. Goals, clearly. Um, so uh, the weight gain. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. How must I speak <laughs> now, Sheva? <laughs> I was trying to put it lower. Okay. Um, do you need it on? Okay, first okay, of all, okay, hey, we're sure. busy shouting here like we're at a stadium. Um, jokes aside, yeah. Um, I wasn't big on the scale, like I. I never really liked the whole scale thing. Yeah. Because I like I felt like sometimes it can be demotivating and stuff like that. Yeah. But for again, weight gain purposes, I have to be very cognizant of the scale. Um, as much as I can feel in my own body and like how my clothes fit how much and have stuff you, like that. How much have you gained? So right now we're sitting on yeah, I've gained over five kgs. I think I'm five point one five. Mm. And it's been just over four, four months, I think, mm. of being consistent. Yeah. And yeah. started around the same time with consistency. And what's so funny is the fact that almo okay, almost the same amount that he's gained is what I've lost. Right. Um, but almost, not really. He's maybe like one kg more. No, no, finish prep your chicken first, oh. then you can move to your broccoli. Hectic. Yeah, hectic. Here are your spices I'm lining up Did for you. Did you put the rice in cold water? In cold water? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why? Good luck. Uh, Good luck? Yeah, you're supposed to boil the water <sighs> and then put it in once Maybe? the water's boiled. Keep basmati. I know. Let's ask, let me ask you a question. Yes, Is this ma'am. the very first time you're having basmati rice <laughs> that I'm making? Mm -mm. Okay, and how have you other basmati rice been? Fantastic. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what am I doing? 
spice the chicken. Okay. Hey guys, so we are doing a quick meal prep um, because I am working on my gains. So my lovely wife is helping me out with some meal prep. You're helping me out meal prep for you. What she said. Okay. Be gentle with that because it's salty. In the meantime, I'll do some veggies. Simple steamed veggies, nothing crazy. Paprika. So, we're gonna do it like so. How? So, we use paprika, then Spanish smoked paprika. Oh, did I bring two paprikas? Yeah. Is one not cayenne pepper? No, just cayenne pepper. It's pa oh, peri peri. You wanna put so much of it? Did you already put? Yes. <laughs> I thought it was paprika. I read it quickly. Ah. So must I still put paprika? Yes. Just After the peri peri. Yes. Ooh, guys. You see why I don't help a lot? <gasps> because Iguang. You guys. Yeah. <laughs> hey. So this is how uh, the veggies are being made. Just put it in a colander. Put some boil, some water over there, and then do that, and then just let it um, steam because you want it to be nice and crunchy, you know, mm. nice and you can put want a little bit nutrients. of salt and pepper, just a little. Oh, this chicken's looking good already. Yeah. How I... cool is that spice rack that you have right there? I know, right? It's like, and the thing about it is you can shift it to here. Yo, yo! Yo! Ay! Stephanie! Debotage. So, what I really love about uh, this kitchen, besides the fact that it's got stunning finishes, but it's got really practical, nifty little, I don't call it gadgets, but additions, right, that I at least haven't seen. So, for example, like, even this spice rack that you can move and uh you know put some of your spices and your oil and all that kind of stuff like back here and at the same time the cupboard space is like really good so the drawers um there's more than enough space even like they're quite deep you know and it's got a dishwasher and of course guys who does not want and when you close it it just looks like a regular cupboard so very nice very very nice because the thing with chicken breast is you just want it to like it doesn't take long and otherwise it's going to be dry so you just want it to kind of you know it must just that that's the one exactly also if you don't know that you're not a real chef and also with this the the, the reason why pretty high you just want it to like brown is because we're still gonna make like the honey and soy sauce and then you're gonna add it in there and, and you don't want the chicken to be dry as you want I said. it to be juicy as I said so what do you think of this kitchen does it rank as like kitchen of Steph's yeah kitchens? yes in the sense like it's got everything you need I mean there's the what's it called scullery pantry yeah that side. It's that side so it's got a really nice way you can do um, your laundry, but it's also got a nice tabletop where you can put some of your stuff there as well um, But I love a kitchen that looks good uh, That is practical that's got enough space and so yeah, that's good And I think I, I know it's a generalization, but for myself I always look when I enter into any home especially, you know looking to buy or renovate or whatever I always look at kitchen even like on my phone there's pictures of my dream kitchen because i spend so much time in the kitchen Yo, you know? your pinterest i know because i spend so much time in the kitchen and you want to enjoy the spaces that you spend a lot of time in so you know as people are spending money on equipment i want my dream kitchen guys i don't know maybe someone will just decide to buy Maybe the oil is jumping up here. Yeah. The oil is what? 
Do again. It's jumping. I make him fun of me. Jumping. Yo. Oh, I know. Oh, it's open the baby's way. He's struggling to mouth his head. Just feel. Needed. Yo, that was so simple. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask you about what? Measurements. You don't measure. I don't you know I don't measure. So how much is this? As much as you see. Ooh. And don't ask me why I'm just making dishes because there's really no need for me to be. So what goes in the last one? Water. <coughs> Water. Did I'm you boil the water already in yeah. that smeg kettle? Yeah. <laughs> Flexing. Check on your veggies, check on your rice, and then we'll make the uh, sauce mm. for the chicken. Toss that in there. Pop, pop, flop. Bob's your uncle. Rice looks good. Is it off? No. Turn it off. There we go. I think the veggies are ready. Yeah. Yeah, let's turn it Take off. Take that water out. Strain it. Do we need to extract this stuff? No. Beautiful. I absolutely love. I really just love your skill with which you, you know. I feel like I'm using the wrong utensil. You really are, but it's okay. And then you're just going to stir that until it thickens. No, if it doesn't. We don't need baking soda. Baking soda? Or baking powder. Baking powder. The one that Corn rises. Corn flour. Corn you mean? No, the one that makes things rise. I mean, what I would usually put in here is just, I forgot, some cornstarch to thicken it. Sabotage. But it's, it's probably not going to thicken the way it needs to thicken because, my bad, I should have had some corn cornstarch. Bring my phone so that they can see. This looks like Coke. He's going to say I sabotage this dish. I see coke here, guys. I see coke. What? I just forgot. I just forgot popped. the cornstarch. Mm -hmm. It's fine. It's still going to be delicious. Let's add the chicken. All right. Let's add the chicken. Yes. Oh, that sauce in there. Okay, but disclaimer, guys. Yes, for everyone who's going to tell me thicker... I know, I know, I know, I know. But Oksalayo. Kumnandi. Kumnandi. Oksalayo, Kumnandi, okay? I just wanna let y'all know that here, yes, love people who cook. lives here. People who cook, don't put things away. So I was still trying to be cute talking about love lives here. Now there's some people who when they cook, Bore, they are cleaning whilst they are cooking. Really? Then, That's how we were raised. Then they are burning their fingers because pots and stoves are hot. Then, kuraf. Burning their fingers, pots and stoves are hot. Oh, when I'm cleaning yes, around the stove. Yes, when you are cleaning around the stove. You are messing around the stove because the things are chichiching. But now you want to clean the chichichi whilst you are still chichiching. I mean, Please comment below for those of you who grew up cooking. Am I alone when I say that? We were always told, clean as you cook. One, you minimize your work afterwards, but the food tastes better when the kitchen is. Hey, you're a lot. 
quick easy healthy you know you can add a little bit of a salad on the side I know already I'm gonna add to my plate to my dish pickled cucumbers and he doesn't like pickled cucumbers so he doesn't get a salad I know people are gonna ask where are these lunched in containers from Bungani can't remember the people were asking you remember on social these media these are from take a lot and then people said it's not there then you said you can't remember that was the scooter oh that was the scooter sorry these are glass containers my bad yeah because glass is healthy stay away from plastic yeah so that's the truth start with the rice here you go sir nice and fluffy mr boil the water first there we go and please make it nice presentations everything hey, please please make please. it there on the the way i do it we'll put them no that's fine yeah that's about a cup so this would be how people this would be your lunch for three days yeah for three days if i don't make one of them my dinner as well because yeah. me i don't mind to eat the same thing cord cord zucchini put some get some 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 carrots uh -huh. there we go Get to the next one. It's plating, but anyway. Baby, this is how you do it. Don't start. No, I was just gonna put the chicken first and then the veggies because then your chicken can be by your rice and then your veggies the side. But it's fine, last continue. Why it's again, ne? I don't appreciate. <laughs> yeah, I don't do this appreciate. one. Do this one like this. Yeah. I don't appreciate. You know those people who they are teaching you, ne? Mara, they say, okay, come do, come do. Then when you start to do, then they start to say, me, I would have. I don't appreciate. Are remove. Remove. Okay. Sambe, sambe. The main situation. Now, hey, Mara sauce, yeah. I said what I said. I knew he was going to say Mara sauce. <laughs> I forgot to bring corn flour. Is it corn flour? Corn? Yeah, corn flour, or you can even use regular flour. And when it was cooking, you could have put it in and would have thickened it. I know. It doesn't change the taste, just the consistency. So. What a sabotage. What a quarter more, baby. Hi, 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 hi. I don't know why I may have extra work. Hey, now your rice is going to be dry, but anyway. Fine. There will be those people, namely Auntie P. If you don't know who Auntie P is by now, ah, sorry. Who will ask me now? So where's the gravy? <laughs> Guys, every time I cook Ruth's food, right? Like it doesn't matter what I'm cooking. My child must always have gravy. Sometimes you can just. You don't need gravy or sauce. You're like you can have brown rice just like that. It's healthier. So I know. Here, here's the gravy. <laughs> like, like, like <one> gravy. <laughs> <laughs> Your guy is rude. Rude. I didn't cook this. You cooked. Yeah, you are my teacher. Oh. <laughs> it's fine. You know it slaps. It slaps. It slaps. Yes, baby. Are you not even going to give a taste test of yeah. everything yeah, together? Yeah, we'll taste test from the scafting. I'm tasting. We have a winner. We have a winner. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. The best winner. Nah, never. Guys. Just taste it. This thing has sweet vinegar. Do you, if Just you like one. If you like pickles, then you'll like that. Me, I don't like pickles. I'm not tasting, baby. I've tasted it before. Mm -hmm. No, my love. I love you very much. 
So we got our meal prep done for the next three days for lunch. And there's Galenzo Kitchen all the way in Midrand, Villa La Sul. Shout out to Galenzo Properties. And that is load shedding. So um, that was perfect timing. <laughs> so yeah, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment down below and uh, make sure that you subscribe if you made it all the way to the end. But also, I think it would be really cool to let us know like what you think of this kitchen. Yeah. You know, let us know what you think. Let us know if you've ever been to a Galencia property because they have a whole bunch of properties throughout the Gauteng region. Um, we'll have like the website down in the description if you guys want to check them out and uh, see what they have to offer. Yeah. And let us also know if you're going to give this recipe meal prep idea a try. Don't forget the cornstarch. It's the cornstarch. Corn flour. Corn flour. Don't forget the corn flour. Don't forget the cornstarch. Oh, cornstarch. Um, <clears throat> is it cornstarch? I don't even know. But Don't anyway. forget the thickening substance. Yes. But, yeah, give it a go. What if someone is single? Must they cook by themselves? Yeah. How did you cook before me? I didn't. <laughs> Good point. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs>